Uh, time to return to Fantasy Star Online, Episode 3. Well, with all the progression that we actually have successfully made, Dark Side is about to surpass Hero Side in terms of progression. As long as it doesn't decide to just suddenly kick up the difficulty and ruin me, but... That remains to be seen. I talked to everybody last time, right? Yeah, I did. Let's head straight into the mission this time. I don't think I have any cards to grab around here. I'm pretty sure I would have grabbed them. Especially considering that Momoru was at her final bit of dialogue, so it saved how many times I talked to her. So, we got Research 3, Save the Rappy, and Puzzle Solving. Uh, save the Rappy is going to require Ogun. I don't think I ever built a deck for him. Uh, research 3 is... Just whatever. Puzzle solving is what we need to do to actually progress things. So, well, actually, instead of kicking things off directly, I guess we are going to go make a deck. Right, this is the one that I made that was, like, set order deck. Oh, here's Ogun. Launcher range, plus one HP, two AP, two move. Impact half guard and anti-abnormality. Pretty good, actually, for a story character. So we do have a bunch more options, but a big part of it is going to rely on, like, because uh, we only have one Cave Wind. So, and we have two Ruin Darkness, but, like, Ruins seems like it works better for forces. Uh, caves? Yeah, I think I'll go in all in on Altered Beasts. So the usual. Uh, should I should I put in Go Volmers? Hmm. I'll put in some Hilda Bears instead, two of them, as a just in case that the enemy has something that is very explicitly anti altered beast. Right, I have a second split boost now. Blow. Yeah, that was just AP silence on an attack. There's a throne companion there. I'll throw in two dice plus one and a cave wind. Is 
So there, now, now we'll go into the uh, mission for Ogun. Save the Rappi. I read about an injured Rappi in Tanner Sinus on the information site. Net 5. That Rappi would really need my help. Please let me go. This is going to be a 1v1. Pretty basic map. Deck loop is not activated, so players can run out of cards. And we are going up against Guy Killed. I think this is the other side of quest we did. It might be. I don't, hmm, I don't think it is, actually. It's two rock casts going up against each other. Uh, yeah, I'll actually keep this. Space ahead. Uh -huh. The old Saber. Does he have a Del Saber blade? Yeah, shield, uh, dice fever means only fives for everybody. Action. Actually, I should check what that Del Saber shield does. So it's 12 HP, 4 cost, it's got Protector and Link Inherit. Living this card limits the opponent only select guard items. That's normal, but. When this card is destroyed, gain equal experience. We gain experience equal to the max HP of the card if equipped together with Del Saber's Buster. So it's more so about it boosting Del Saber's Buster than it doing anything else. And that it's a pretty BP shield, anyways. Well, he's equipping a lot of shields and nothing else, so. He's a determined to make this go a long time, huh? And God Shield Genbu is action disruptor on it. I might as well get rid of the, uh, Shield of Del Saber first, just in case he has. In that case, this is just. Uh, it's just a. Two. Uh, put himself. Still put himself in perfect range for this to uh, break it. Uh. I'm gonna. Uh, yeah. Toss my build a bear. I don't really have too much of a use. Well, I could play the Hilda Bear and then attack from an angle. Oh, Divinity Barrier. Defense. Oh, is he going to be aiming for like some sort of like milling strategy? Where he just wants me to take forever and run out of cards? I don't know how good that is <laughs> as an idea against, you know, a, a dark side deck, but. It's an idea.
Start an evil shark, draw an evil shark. There we go. Now he's got a weapon. I just noticed the Victor Axe is only a, a saber range. Uh, how long does Dice Fever last? Okay, it is one more turn. It's just eight turns when you first play it. Uh, I can attack from here, so no need to move anyways. And I don't have fixed range, so... to do. Action. I'll do that just to absorb whatever he's going to do on defense. He just given up. It feels like he's given up. <laughs> Another shield of Del Saber. Another dice fever. Change. Okay. Action. He doesn't even have enough dice to walk anything, really. Uh, so. I really should. Wait, I can't play a third deal shark, right? Cost is. Uh, that would bring it to nine cost, and I have a cap of eight. He's just sitting there losing all of his cards, apparently. Determined to not actually do anything. You have one attack. Are you not even going to attack? <laughs> So, I didn't like that. I'm just trying to think, should I? Yeah, I'll try and see if I can break the Victor Axe and then swing in directly. Do 
I just need to roll two. There. Now I've done direct damage. I was hoping I could save that uh, split for actually doing direct damage, but whatever. To attack? No, you are not. He does have enough defensive dice to actually do something, but I doubt he is. I think he gave up. I think he handed me this way. <laughs> attack should. He doesn't have another defensive card to play. And he doesn't. And there, five to the face. Okay. That's rank. I didn't know there was an S rank possible. But I got it. Well, Ogun's blue, so... There's a lot of characters that are blue in this. Saber Dance. Red Slicer. That was the only new stuff. But Red Slicer, four cost, Slicer range, eight HP, two AP, three TP. Has machine half guard and native influence. So it takes half damage from machines and it temporarily loses two AP if the opponent attacker is a native creature. So basically, it's just got one real weakness, but other than that, it's a four-cost slicer. Pretty beefy four-cost uh, four slicer. And then Saber Dance. Four turns, sword AP boost. Yeah, all sword-type items gain plus two AP while this card is on the field. The fact that it's pointing out the daggers there, yeah, makes me go, yeah, I, I get it. Why were those hunters there? Were they trying to use that cute Rappy for their experiments? Anyway, it's all okay now. After the fight, I rescued the poor thing and got her back to the forest. I hope she's doing well now. Oh, well, I'm gonna go and cheer myself up now. Love and peace. Okay. That was ridiculously easy. Like I said, I wonder if I wonder if it's like actually a thing where the AI doesn't really fight back in that and is explicitly giving up because there's a lot of times when it should have been able to do something and it just didn't. Maybe I've died so many times the game's on easy mode now. Anyways, research three. We need you to gather environmental data from Ragol as part of our uh, card research. This time, we want you to head to Nebula, Montana. Just a 1v1. Thin map, default settings. We're going up against Teifu. Uh, he's usually pretty high cost stuff. Though not a lot. We cannot use Break or Lura on this. Or Teifu. <laughs> we cannot use Teifu. Oh no! Uh, let's go with Pekka. I think Pekka's deck is like a less... like, optimized break, from what I recall. Like, it was before I realized a couple things for putting together a deck for break. Uh, 
Yeah, let's change the hand here. Let's not place them too close as to get killed off first turn. Dice. Going in with one Del Saber. You realize that because it's only one Del Saber, it's probably dead next turn. So that's whatever. Oh, he's aiming for me. He didn't use all of his dice, but he's aiming for me. All right, he only has a move to... damage in each attack. Right, I should get rid of that dice plus one. Good God. He's using nothing but uh, cards that do self damage, to, like that do damage to themselves. So Berserk is kind of okay on that card, uh, not on that front. Ah, uh, he's already in my face, so I'm gonna play a Sahil the Bear. He doesn't have enough defense to save that double saber. to think this through. So, I can Barda. Won't really be good against uh, God Shield Genbu. And then the Hilda Bear do extra damage against it.
I'll let the, the Dimension die, so that way I can play a, a slime. Oh, that's a weird direction to go for that. I guess I can't play the slime. For you. to attack and So he doesn't take damage when a weapon is destroyed by Berserk. I'll spend a card. Finally, I get <laughs> enough points to do something. Okay, let's just see. Echo has a base uh, 2 AP, so. Slash with him. Yeah, that's fine. Hey, a dice bonus. Finally. He's been breaking his own stuff, so I've been robbed of experience. Oh, that's a bad sign. That's a bad sign. Well, he, 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 he spent everything he could to draw those. Well, to play those. So. Slash with Pekko. Wait, no, let's... Hmm. Let's attack with the Hour Abbey. Slash with Pekko. And then attack with the uh, Poison Slime. Defense. Yeah, I kind of figured that I wasn't going to be able to get rid of one of the Dragon Slayers this turn. Change. 
potentially really dangerous spot for both of us. Because he has very low health. But yeah, he just keeps having Dragon Slayers to attack with. He's gonna attack with both of them. Uh, I might as well guard against this with Peko. Well, he's not going to be attacking with both of them, right? Because he's going to just be spending all of his attack dice on boosting the attack of things. Uh, I'm going to move Peko so he can cast spells directly. And so not everybody gets attacked by the, uh, the same thing at once. So. Go Foy against that. Oh, I should have attacked with the Alrappy first. Whatever, the Alrappy can also use Foy against the same thing if it wants. And Zonda from the Poily Slime. Yeah, I should have attacked with the Alrappy first. <laughs> He's down to 3 HP. He's in a very bad spot right now. And I have a ton of health to survive things. Well, this is gonna take a while. If I can't use Tex against God Shield Genbu. He has now decided to stall. Swinging with Alrappy. Might as well cast Foy against the shield. I should have cast. Well. Yeah, I should have cast uh, that with the Alrappy specifically. And then just swing in against the uh, shield itself. Against the God Shield. I'm swinging against the shield as what well. The shield itself, when he has two shields. But no, I should have had the Alrappy cast Foy, because it would have been higher damage. Peko has higher HP, well, has higher AP than an Alrappy. And an hour app, he has higher TP than Pekka as well. So, yeah. Oh, hey, second slime. I'm gonna keep my slime alive. And me, but. Especially the slime. Another bonus dice. <laughs> Sacrifice. Well, discard some cards. I didn't mean to discard the Zonda, but whatever. He is down to 2 HP, that, uh, 
about to say that uh, shield is about to be broken. And then he plays another one, so. I was thinking, you know, that shield's about to be broken and I just need to get one direct swing at him. Yeah, I already have a dice plus one. That should be a good order for things. So upon breaking this next shield, he's dead. my slime. Unfortunately for him, I have a second slime. Cycled through my deck, I think. <laughs> Ow. First, to uh, take the defensive card that he uses. This should be it. Because, yeah, he has three uh, left, and Flime's going to do four, so. Yep, there we go. E. I mean, he was stalling. He was stalling to kill my rank. That's what I'll say. Uh, Paco is in a lot of browns and has red glasses, so let's go with red. Nothing new. Thank you. We received your data. With this mission, we've assembled everything we need for our card research. If a new location is discovered, we'll likely, we'll likely ask for your assistance again at that time. Card research team. So next is going to be puzzle solving, and puzzle solving has a uh, has a cutscene on it that requires us to use Endo.
needed to read that. I need more data on the enemy that you fought when we when you were at White Temple in the mist. So you need to go again. You'll face the same kind of forces as before. I also heard rumors that the government is investigating the area as well. You will run into hunters, so take all the necessary precautions. So, 2v2. Fault rules. And we're going in with Rio against Orland and Romidos. We decided to give the name Lucon Knight to the enemy we fought at Misty White Temple. So it seems that this Lucon Knight became active when we intruded into the area, but we have currently no we currently have no further information about it. Oh, there's a lot of gates to prevent uh, just simply walking up to things. with two uh, slimes, so hell yeah. Start. I'm gonna guess her deck is gonna be built around uh, her revenge ability. That being said, she did play that other claw immediately next to herself. So. It's not dying anytime soon. <laughs> They're just sitting there gearing up with as many walks as they can. Yeah, he's got also got two daggers on him. That's the real big threat, because those are getting boosted by all of his uh, all of his different weapons of weapons. Tend to move, but like the Defense. other line, but execution errors. I love using the phrase execution error in a turn based game because it is true, it was an execution error, but it's usually the sort of term that you only hear reserved for like high end combos in a fighting game. Like, oh man, that was like, oh yeah, that moment was an execution error, or like. You hear it reserved for just fighting game moments of like, oh yeah, that was an execution error, he didn't intend to press that there. Uh. Action. 
Defense. Start to get rid of those daggers. Discard those two. Yeah. Try and get more action cards on me. Okay. Got two dice fevers on the field. That doesn't really do much. So Realmidos is now uh, boxed in. So one slime can go to work on him. The other slime can Defense. work on uh, Orland. I got rid of both of his daggers. Because, once again, those were going to be the real big threat if he ever actually would attack. I'm guessing that he's just trying to get to me specifically. Yeah, he's avoiding engaging in confrontations Defense. just so he can try and get to me. They just really want to swing in for face and do nothing but that. Questioning if I should actually still keep attacking Orland, or if I should shift to focusing entirely on Realmidos, because I've gotten more damage in on Realmidos. Defense. I think the split focus I have right now is fine. Muscular. I do realize now that the biggest threat is the fact that they have broken through. Hmm. Okay, good. Thanks. Thanks for blocking me. I'm gonna start breaking everything in his hands.
well. I didn't need the boost attack from that slash, but... Honestly, pretty competitive for who's gonna die first. Why? that distance there. Action. Uh, Realmitos might flat out be dead this turn. There. Yeah, I think Realmitos is full on dead. Yeah, this is gonna be four than five. Oh, right, then there's the, the additional two there. Might as well break another card while I'm at it. Oh, this is a five. I'm guessing Muscular did that. So the five and then a six. <laughs> hey, B plus. Well, that was easy. Oh. And who has red hair? Well, orange hair, but. Oh, hey, Gifoy. It's the only thing of note. <laughs> well, I guess getting a second Power Mazer and a second K win may be okay. Yeah, Gifoy. Three costs, two TP. Uh, uh, just full surround uh, range. Just local AoE. It's, it's a circle around us. Heavy Pierce and Weak Spot. Against uh, an attack against an item will also directly damage its story, uh, its opponent's story character equipper. The story character has three or more items equipped. During a physical attack on an opponent's story character, this card temporarily loses four TP. How? <laughs> Just as we expected, it sounds like there weren't many clues left at this point. Still, I believe we can make good use of the data you brought back. Thanks. Deep red. And we are now caught up with Hero Side.
Well, a lot of questions being asked about Andu there. Whatever it is they were doing with that cloning stuff, apparently it was a success. Andu there is calling attention to the events of Fantasy Star Online episodes one and two there. Well, just one. He's calling attention to Darkfall stuff. And saying that uh, he's saying that it is tied to why we can't land. danger of, you know, the germ and uh, card technology's potential dangers. I don't think using it to replicate food so you can taste it again without really eating it is the best use. And that makes me wonder if the game is going to call that out. I don't really need another Pan Arms card, but thank you. Oh, but I thought it was a repeat thing. Thank you. 
So I'm guessing that memory core that they stole uh, was then used, then placed inside Lura. Sounding like he's kind of admitting that the person he cloned was Sophia, if we remember, it was on that one mission where uh, he stabbed Selfer. Guessing that's who the memory core was from, and that's why he's so conflicted about all this is because he had to clone Sophia to see if she had any inf to see if she would give the information on the location of the Great Shadow. But of course, it kind of stands against everything he stands for. So. Lazy Bum 4 is the one that has a cutscene to it. Let's see. This is against Selfer, so we... So yeah, he was saying that he wanted us to go on a mission against Selfer. I don't know what to do. My wife's gone. Please. Gotta go find her. I'm not doing the hiccups. The character HP is set to 20. And that's really it. It's gonna be a longer fight, but that's it. So, I found a letter saying she was gonna go hide. I gotta get her back somehow. The letter said she was going to that highland with the view of the sea. That's Nebula of Montana. Sorry to bug you, but could you go there and give her a message? Tell her I'll go meet her once my belly and my head is doing better. Protect her until then. Okay? Then. Once again, I'm not doing the hiccups. But this is a fight. Also, it's an excuse for a break to explain everything to Silver. Uh, uh, yeah, let's change this. Oh, we got a slime first turn, so. so that it doesn't get hit first thing first. Change. 
Yes. Yeah. Just barely out of the way right now. Life plus one. Played by Minion right in front of her. Monkey King Bar is AP growth, if I recall. Though it's absurd, HP is the big draw there. Hit with two Dimensions on the field. They nap off each other. I kind of thought this would get blocked. It doesn't matter, it's still gone. The Monkey King Bar is probably going to kill one of my Dimensions. Yeah. Thankfully she did that with the one that's closer to being broken. I'm not actually going to play anything because she's going to try and focus on swinging for base. Therefore, she's just going to move next turn. Well, this turn. Uh, let's just see how much she decides to block this for. Only two, okay. So the six damage will break it. Okay, that's good. I broke the improved Monkey King bar. Now that's annoying. I'm gonna keep it at these two for right now. Oh. oh, I could actually foy from here and still do damage because Break does have okay AP. Basically, just turning my uh, foy into a high cost long arm. Well, high cost snipe in this case, I think. Okay, so she is going to attack as pa as she passes things at the very least. Change. Nice. Set. 
I have a lot of owl rabbies, huh? I guess I should take advantage of that. Uh, I want to swing in three times. Yeah, no matter what, Dracu's dying. These Rappies are basically free AP growth for her. I forgot about Defense. the whole range stuff for a moment. But I should have used a uh, boost on uh, one of my rappies. Guard the uh, slime. Wait, does the lightning partisan also have AP growth? I just realized. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't walk forever. This is putting me in danger of being stabbed, but... It is a risk I'm willing to take. This would bring. This would be a six damage attack, so. I guess I'm gonna spread this out. Lucky King Bar is the higher priority target, but I can just get rid of that Lightning Partisan in one. Should have gotten rid of the dice. That's a lot. That's a lot of damage. That slime is out of here.
It'd be a shame if something were to break. It'd be a shame if I wouldn't have enough dice to actually do anything. Is she gonna kill the Al? Well, she's gonna move two spaces and then kill the Al Rappy. She's also gonna slash twice. I don't know why I used that second dodge. I, for some reason, my brain was like, oh yeah, I'll dodge twice on the uh, break. Okay. Yeah, Sorcerer. And Diamond. The Chaos Sorcerer does have tech, so... It's, she's still gonna get a swing in, though, with the Monkey King bar. It's probably gonna kill the Chaos Sorcerer in one. I should have gotten rid of the Monkey King bar when I had the chance. Oh, I'm going to be just swinging in physically this turn. To be. Because, yeah, no matter what I do, it's going to be converted to just AP thanks to that, that God Shield. Oh, hey, <laughs> I paralyzed the shield. I don't think that does anything. Unless it means I can swing past it now. Or like maybe its ability doesn't activate, I don't know. I'm praying, I'm praying that I can do something. Well, hey, this guard actually did sur make something survive. This is now an attack turn for the Arlen. Uh, okay, that's just a second Rune Darkness. For a second I was like, wait, did I did I play it already? Okay, so it's just unable to attack. Eh, might as well. So there, I at least get rid of the shield. Because the Zonda's gonna be converted to just a AP attack, but that's still three damage, so. I might be able to get rid of that Monkey King bar. He is gonna kill something, though. Oh, another Monkey King bar. That's actually good for me. It means she resets to zero functionally once I destroy this one.
Uh, I don't need to play the Rune Darkness yet. Yeah, I might as well spend the Hoy to negate whatever she blocks it with entirely. There, it's gone. And I get the, I get the damage growth now. Yeah, now she's just gonna swing for face. And it's gonna be a lot. I'm probably dead, to be honest. mainly thinking of how I can not be dead. I'm dead. I, I should have moved another space forward. Might be able to survive this barely. Fuck out of there. There's a part of me that's waiting for the Chaos Sorcerer to die, uh, so that way I can play two slimes.
Okay, there we go. Did draw another monster card that I can play. I place myself here if she can still stab. We'll just go with me and she'll only attack once this turn. Spaces. At least I can get rid of the one monkey king bar. I have too many dice plus one in this deck. the attack for this, just in case. Yeah, I'll, I'll still at least get one damage through. I'm not gonna break it, but...
There we go. Now two slimes are coming in. This will break the shield, and then this will hit the uh, Monkey King bar directly. Okay, yep. Yeah. This is very slow going. But... I am slowly making some form of ground. Probably should have saved that part though. But then again, if she blocked the entire previous attack, then saving it wouldn't have done anything for me. It would just meant that I didn't break her uh, monkey king bar. very slowly chipping away at her. Why did this have to be a 20 health mission? here just preemptively. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna swing in a little, well, just swing in for the just in case. Yeah, I kind of thought so, so that song that was wasted then. Once again, though, slowly chipping away at her. Oh, no, wrong one. I shouldn't have moved uh, break so far, because then I could have void to do a bit of extra damage to the god shield. Thank you. 
Place him here. He's gonna have to walk to the left or to the right and then down on. And I can kind of use that. Uh, I'll place him here. Force her to walk to the left. Anyways. both have so many uh, bonus dice that basically uh, we can pretty much do almost anything every turn. At least one damage got through.
do want the Arlen to swing in just because I want it to switch to an attack turn. I'm in a very bad spot now. I could be drawing some creatures now. There we go. So I can at least create a defensive wall again to move around behind. Oh, never mind. Well, that was a very long and <laughs> very unfortunate fight. Just trying to think. A large part of that? Hmm. I guess heavy rampage, but then again, the instances where heavy rampage I would want, action disruptor would kick in, and. Yeah, hmm. Do you have too many dice plus one? But I think I'll replace a dice plus one in a ruined darkness with uh with two cave winds. The Alarapis, as much as I don't care for them, they did kind of serve a purpose for that fight. Oh, I can have a third slime in my deck. Uh, this does have heavy pierce, but that's... Only if the story character has three or more, and she only ever has two.
It's like a real big thing with this deck really is rely like for this fight especially I want to rely on being able to very quickly take down her equipment and I can only really do that if I have specifically strong things out there so like two slimes plus a cave wind who would handle a lot of this why does this have to be 20 HP <laughs> Might as well fast forward a bit. Oh, this time she gets to go first. Uh, yeah, let's change his hand out. Uh, it's not much better. I can't do anything first turn. Uh, this this is a very bad start for me. Chaos Sorcerer is a good thing to draw. I'll prevent the death. Well, that's not going to prevent the death. Wait. Yes, it does. I have more than enough HP to spare, but... Swing it and slug it out. <laughs> I'm gonna lose the slugging it out, but. I think I'm gonna 
take this loss, actually. No, I'm just gonna quit out. Because... That was such a bad start. That... Yeah, I'd have to basically be doing the whole runaway thing for the entire game again. And probably still lose. This is okay. It's okay, but at the same time, I... This is still okay. It's at least something. Uh, I was hoping I would get slimes, but... Uh, it's that question of, do I play the two Rappies knowing they're gonna get broken immediately, or do I play the Chaos Sorcerer? Okay, so as soon as these things are broken, both uh, both slimes are coming out. So now my Chaos Sorcerer is in a position where I'm going to intentionally try to sacrifice it. Right. Swing in with both of them and willingly take the hit as well. like having gotten any AP growth. It's the, like, this is a great deck for fighting against a force, really. The amount of God Shield Genjo she has, like, access to and whatnot.
Let's see. Uh, I don't have anything with a three range, so. Slimes on the field. Action. I'll keep the second cave win for when the first runs out. going to be swinging in for six now. At the very least, I have a third slime to play right now in my hand. That's going to be free. I think she's going to be able to block all of this. Yeah. I didn't actually need that slash though, because it was going to block it. It was going to break it anyways. At the very least, she now has to spend AP on actually playing cards. Hey, Wind has already run out. I'm now in an advantage. Okay, two shields. Should have boosted the first one just in case, yeah, he was gonna negate it by two. But I should have boosted the first attack so it would have broken. Him. You have a foy. So. Still not going to be able to attack with it because I want to do this, but. Good. This is good. Yes. 
Hey, six damage to the face. I'm in an incredibly good spot now. Yeah, she had to spend everything to play that. I might have this one. So, let's just swing in normally. Swing in with a slash. Oh, and I couldn't afford to play the Zonka. But swinging with the slash still broke it at the very least. Well, I'm gonna take a moment. Oh, uh, yeah, let's boost the attack. No, wait, actually, let's swing in, boost the attack of this one twice. Oh, right, Zonda doesn't have the range that I was thinking it did. Okay, win. There we go. Cycled through my deck. Okay. Okay, I win. Huh. E. But hey, we got a cutscene for doing that with Break. I haven't gone with green in a while. I barely ever go with green. Amahu. And that's basically it in terms of notable things. So, Mahu is a three uh, cost uh, card. I believe it is the weapon type. Never ended up getting one in proper PSO. Uh, it is a shotgun range, four HP, one AP, two TP. Tacker, well, tech only. Well, tech okay, force only, and has TP growth. How fitting. I figured she'd be there. When I made it there later, I picked up a shell from Tenor Sinus on the way. Really like that. I got a feeling we're going to be able to work things out after all. I'm going to rethink the life I've been living. I'm truly indebted to you. Thanks a million. Then. That was Lazy Bum 4, which is the final Lazy Bum. And while they uh, were able to clarify things and make it up to each other, let's see if these two are. Oh, that's it. <laughs> so the next cutscene that we get on Dark Side is the final battle. And well, the actual next one though would be Across Time 3, which is for the other side quest route. <laughs> so I'm guessing that to see the, we might need to be on the other route to see the conclusion of that. If so, damn, that's pretty mean of you. Well, 
Love letter is an optional one, so let's do that. Arlene, if you're interested in me, you'll come see me, won't you? It's gonna be a 1v1, hole in the middle. No deck loop again. We're going up against Viviana. It's been a long time since we've used Memoru. Not gonna start now. I feel like Ogun's deck should be pretty okay at this. Either that or Endu. We go with Ogun. Because of his innate range. I'm sure you'll come if you get this letter. If you have even the slightest interest in me, please meet me at Mole Venti. I'll wait here as long as it takes for you to arrive. Carlene. So time to figure out what this is all about. off the slime as always. spaces away, like you can hit three spaces away, just not directly in front of uh, me. So, I'm already swinging indirectly. At the very least, well, no, right, that impact half guard is on me. Yeah, it's six damage first turn. Pretty good start. Keep my hand for now. Okay, so <laughs> he is going to do things to not die instantly. Good. Get rid of the Hilda Bear for now. And one of the dodges. Out of the hopes that I can get the second uh, slime. Uh, yeah, I'll dodge this and just decrease the damage a little. It's not a big threat for right now, but. Probably shouldn't be taking too many hits just for free. Hey, there we go.
I actually probably have this one. I definitely don't have this one on this turn, but... Action. Just in case. Otherwise, those two will break them. Oh! Oh, four damage to the face. Well, five damage. Six damage total, actually. So yeah, I win. She's now four, and this direct hit will kill. There. That was incredibly easy. And only a C rank. Whenever I bring Ogon on a mission, the MP the AI just doesn't know what to do against me. So nothing new. Guess the most notable thing is the fact that we got a second Arlen and a second Ravana. Who are you? Did you come in Seward's place? Oh no. Don't tell me. I'm so sorry. I must have sent the message to the wrong place. No wonder he never showed up. I'm terribly sorry. Please don't be mad. Okay? Bye. Carlene. progress things now. Flow of Power. Dispatch from Red. I want you to go to the Nebula Montana and report back on flow, Photon Flow. It's gonna be a 2v2. Fault rules. We're going in with Lura against Saligon and Stella. There is no cutscene for this. So... Yeah, let's go with Ogan again. He can't attack anything directly in front of him, but... That couldn't be too much of a problem. This is a good start. I have a slime in my hand. Let me start with the slime. Good start. Okay, so because of playing a cast, I can also see where all of the traps are on the field. I don't know what they are, but I can tell uh, that because of their color that they do something. Really it. I mean, it's the first turn, so I can't do anything yet. I don't really need additional dice once I get uh, a slime on the field, honestly.
So I'm gonna guess that Saligon is probably gonna be the more dangerous of the two. And let's just see. Yeah, Saligon and Stella both have the same health. Stella has higher AP and move though. Well, Saligon has higher AP and move than Stella. And Stella only really has fixed range going for her. HP chain. Before uh, each turn, the HP of this card changes the number of items that by your character, including this card. Okay, so... If you have a card that is just... Uh, the more items you have equipped, the, strong, uh, the more HP that gun has. That's okay, I guess. Okay, this is... Uh, this launcher is multi. Okay. Boost the attack of this just to make sure that it goes through. Oh, I should have attacked with Salad. Do with Ogun first. There. Split on the final attack. Yeah, I should have attacked with Ogun first. See what we get. Oh, we swing in for 10. This is actually almost one. This is one next turn. Because all I need to do is just break something. Oh, the divinity, bar divinity Barrier is going to cause a bit of a pain, isn't it? I'm just going to swing in twice. Well, it's three times. No! No! Defense. I don't have it won this turn. because of that major half guard there. Next turn should be. Oh wait, this one has, right, this one has low health, so. Yeah, next turn definitely I win. just gonna keep swinging in at that almost dead slime until it is a dead slime. Oh, first gotta take out the Mothman though. Oh wait, I think that means that they can't swing. Well, no, yeah, the shotgun. It doesn't matter. I win. Because I swing in with all gun, they block, and then I swing in with the slime, and... Even if it's halved, it's still two damage against one. Basically just ensure that this will kill. Yeah, I need to swing him multiple times. 
Hey, gold rush. A C plus. Yasmin Cobb, 2000H. So it's poor cost, the handgun range, 5 HP, 1 AP, Ranger only, attack AC unable, limited action. During an attack, this card prevents you from using attack action cards and prevents the opponent from using defense action cards. So basically, it's just always going to hit. It cannot be blocked. I received the data and I will begin, I'll have analysis begin imme immediately. You and your team are cleared to return to base. Chief Red. So, we're actually approaching the end of Dark Side. I mean, until we need to do both sides on New Game Plus again. She's saying that she wants to be sent on a mission with Break, but once again, that mission is for the other side quest route, the one that we're not on.
So yeah, Hindu there outright saying that the Great Shadow is derived from Dark Falls in some way. Maybe Dark Falls is derived from it? Hard to say. I mean, considering its name being the Great Shadow, it's most likely a reference to Profound Darkness, and thus this is one big reference to the fact that after beating Dark Falls for real in Fantasy Star 4, they went on to fight the Profound Darkness, the thing that made Dark Falls. So. I'm guessing there's a cutscene on the on the hunter side for that. That's obviously never going to be relevant. That's obviously not big major details about a plot point. Oh. We do just have uh, two missions left for this. I'm gonna check for unknown lands. We're going up against Salagun. And for the real me. We're going up against Stilfer. Huh. I thought it'd be against Break. For that one, it's gonna be minimum roll and max roll and whatnot. But the thing is. Just uh, looking at how much is left to do in the game. And I'm like... Hmm. Yeah, let's, let's make a swing at this. At the real me. It's been a while since I've done anything with... Rafina's deck, though. I don't even have one for her. Okay. 
It's been so long that I don't even actually have one. Wait, uh, right. I actually need to remind myself. 5 HP, 3 AP, 4 move, 1 TP, and action up. Use any physical attack action card or AP is multiplied by 2. And the big offset. So basically, I want a lot of attack cards in there. Definitely want split, attack, slash, stab, I'll slay. And outside of that... Go three evil sharks. Two pan arms, two slimes. Well, let's make that three slimes. Three, uh... G sharks. I already forget the first part of their name. We dodge. Regard. One dice. I don't really need the dice, because especially because of this mission, but oh, put it in there anyways. And one cave wind. deck is pretty obvious. Red weapon. Oh, and I needed to read it! I didn't read the quest! <laughs> Description. We're both through this. Yes, quit. still Come on, let me look at it <laughs> dispatch from environmental team this mission regards the government's photon collection project We've heard rumors that someone has been illicitly redirecting the photon, so we need you to go out and find the truth. They may have hunters on guard, so be, be sure to prepare for possible combat. There. Please, I want you to send me to Mole Venti. I've been hoping for a chance to take on a mission like this. There's something I need to see for myself. So... Silver's comment at the beginning here of, oh, no, we're really just examining the, we're really just doing environmental checks, probably is correct. There's been enough situations where uh, both sides seem to get information that implies the other is doing something nefarious. I wonder if that's just uh, going to be just a thing of like, oh yeah, just the information that they get is imperfect and whatnot, or if it's going to be like a plot point that somebody is misleading both sides. Oh, 
So if I can get through and do direct damage quickly, this might be an incredibly fast mission. <laughs> Given Rutina's ability. But it's entirely dependent on if I can get that direct damage in. At least one damage went through. Change. Not looking like I'm going to be able to do direct damage that quickly. Athena out, I can only do one attack a turn, unfortunately, so... That's the more dangerous thing. There we go, I got a pan arms, so I at least have a good defense for when I'm trying to swing in. Defense. Uh, I'll save the dodge for the red daggers. Yeah, that decreased a hell of a lot more damage. Nice. Okay, there we go. Play Pan Arms. Action. Boost the attack of Athena here. So that way I can swing Defense. directly in front of me. Okay, good. because of the acid proccing. Oh, no. be able to do anything else this turn, but feel pretty solid. Because the uh, Pan Arms is going to die, but... Well, the Pan Arms is going to die. Probably going to swing in. Well, no, she swings in with the... Okay, yeah. Pan Arms dies. And then I get hit directly. Maybe I shouldn't have been so aggressive. to protect me a little. Uh, 
things. He's probably gonna kill the pan arms next turn. Well, not the pan arms, the slime. Slime and the evil shark. to see another Grill Shark, but still worthwhile. Yeah, she's just gonna swing for face and kill me just outright. Oh! Start off too aggressive there. Let's try that again. I held on to too many uh, action cards, but then again, like, this has deck shuffle off, right? Well, deck loop off. Oh no, it does not. Again, starting with slime. Huh? But can go aggressive this time. She doesn't have anything. Not too aggressive, of course. Hopefully, I have more creatures to play, and bigger creatures to play in the first place. And so I can back myself up a little better. Especially because I have a guard in there. Defense. 
though. I'm guessing that Filial, I don't need to check it, but going off what happened last time, it probably is just, you know, when this card breaks, it does not cause damage to the equipper. That starts swinging with absolutely everything. Already half her health gone. Play the pan arts. Might as well boost the pan arts attack. Actually, gonna make it worthwhile to also swing in with my uh, pan arms. Oh, hey, you have a slicer too? Defense. Well, no longer. Well, my pan arms is dead. Ow. <laughs> that red saber's pretty good, huh? Big one is still good anyways, no matter what. Action. I realize I just put myself in range of the slicer, but... Defense. Very least the red favor is gone. So far, I'm in a pretty good spot. Shark. And of 
of course it had to inflict paralysis. Slime. At the very least, if the one right in front of me dies, I can keep it up. I can play another. split for that, but... Well, actually, uh, yeah, using split might break the handgun outright. Not gonna be overkill. Okay, good. And hey, I draw another one. play that sharp because Action. I just want to swing in with everything right now. Play the slime because it can just move in and attack right away, anyways. Action. Defense. Okay, there we go. I even got another slime. Change dice. So this should be it. Set. Defense. 
Okay, next turn should be it. <laughs> I don't know why I was thinking this turn it would be it. I don't know why I thought that that would just break the daggers by itself. Looks like it's gonna take like another turn. Change. This might be it. Wait, no, this is not. Because, yeah, it's gonna be left with one health. If Rafina and a uh, slime attack the gun, and then I did the. Uh, split on the other slime, then it could have killed both. Potentially. With, if it was split, it would still relieve that potential. Yeah. No, this turn I should win. Because I'll be able to break one of the swords. Just no matter what. Seems like it might have also ran out of time during that final action that I took. The Venus got a lot of red, so. Hey, Garans. And a Saga. And assist reverse. So the Saga is a four cost, saber range, eight HP, two AP, three TP. Attack OK, single target, battle recovery, low cost slayer. This card recovers 1 HP if the battle ends after your attack. Inflicts 1.5 damage when attacking characters at cost uh, 3 or less action points. No effect against story characters. That seems amazing, actually. For, like, it. That seems actually really good. Good durability on that thing. It's good for, uh. Uh. It's good for, like, off, like, casting. It's good for, like, survivability just in general. And it can wipe through low cost stuff really quickly. Assist reverse. Flips over all, all other assists, assist cards on the field while this card is on the field. However, the assist effects themselves remain unaffected. What? Can I guess that it means that it affects the other side? And uh, Garans is a four cost uh, circle. AoE, hits everything around it. 8 HP, 0 AP, 0 TP, 2 move. Attack AC unable. Focus, Ripple, and Pierce. This card gains AP equal to the damage it receives. Max HP minus current HP when attacking. Ripple, during a physical attack, inflict equal damage to all ally or enemy characters within one block of this card. A physical attack pierces any guard, uh, creature, or equipped item directly inflicting damage to the story, uh, upon the story characters, pierces any equipped item on hunter side characters. Attack AC on it. That seems interesting. That's a lot of rules. I've eliminated the hunters and will proceed directly to the research station. Of course, this may be just another false lead. Still, it's worth a shot. There's something I must confirm. Ravina.
And for the last mission of this tier, before we're on to the final tiers of quests. Unknown Lands. I've discovered that this location is a shortcut to reaching the Great Shadow. We need to hurry and create a path through the area. There's a good possibility of inf interference from the hunters, so we need your protection. It's gonna be a warp-focused map. No way to get across without the warps. Default rules. Again, Saligun. She's using a deck named Link, so she probably has a bunch of uh, cards with Link abilities. You know, with the comments about, you know, the fact that there's going to be hunters there, at this point in the uh, story, it's pretty much going to be like, both sides are trying to do the same thing and beat the break, the Great Shadow. Huh. Yeah, this place is living. Huh. And it ain't the ruins. There's definitely some Dark Falls influence. But yeah, at this point, it would basically be both sides are trying to destroy the Great Shadow, but both sides are kind of unwilling to believe that the other is actually trying to destroy the Great Shadow. Start dice. Set. Okay. Well, time to play both slaps. Hey, I can just automatically play them on her side. Start off instantly in her face. Action. Wait, that means that she's going to move into my face right away, isn't she? Change. This is the teleporter there, and she, I think, has three move. Yeah, DB shield and DB saber. Well, she can't afford to do anything other than equip DB shield at least. Change. Dice. Realize I was actually sitting a little farther from the mic than I should have been. Okay. Not exactly boxing her in, but. Action. Uh, DB shield is. God, that's durable, but it's most of her cost. The entire thing is just. It's durable. Defense. Guessing HP half protection is takes your current. It uh, uh it's either let, let's just see, card battle history, half defense. SC cannot use HP during defense damage received from an opponent's attack decreased by the, uh, the amount equal to half of the HP of this card's user. That was either a seven or an eight, presumably. Always fun to walk into a place and find out it's breathing. Ah, there's the saber. And now she's on her way to me. <laughs> Change dice. Set. Move. God, this is so zoomed out. <laughs> That shield is almost done. It's going to recover some health, though. Only one. Okay, that's fine. Change. Change. Dice. 
set. Move. Aha. Action. Well, she, well, she does now. It's gonna be a lot of a stalemate. No, oh, that's the uh, that's the problem. Now that one point of healing is gonna be gonna mean something, as it takes forever for her to reach where I am. She, yeah, she's now gonna move to the red teleporter. Change base. Set. Move. Mm, this place is very ambient. I don't want to block myself Action. off just yet. Draw. That'll make her turn around, potentially, and potentially take longer. Change. Okay, there we go. Change. Nice. So I can block her off, but I can't get uh, both of these. Like, Action. I can't get both slimes immediately next to her, but I can block her off. At the very least, the cost of the Link stuff uh, is pretty restrictive for allowing her to do anything outside of equipping it. Defense. Huh. That hurts. A lot. Change dice. Set. Move. Action. Well, this actually might be enough to win. Depends on if she has, like, how good of a defense. Oh, I win. Well, that was easy. Only a C plus. Hey, stamina. So it's one cost, affects everyone for eight turns, and the move of all active characters, creatures, and story characters on your own team will be set to nine. Action points will be deducted normally. So it basically just sets everybody's move range to nine. Hunter showed up, just as expected. Good that I asked for your assistance. We'll be done clearing the path soon. Continue to cover us in the meantime. Keep ready. We're now on the final three tiers. Music is still pretty peaceful here. Even though we're about to begin a large scale operation.
I never actually checked. Right. right, an arrow would pop up if I could interact with that anyways. Never mind. All this time, his dialogue never changed. Play. So oh yeah, just some wrapping up of characters, uh, character arcs and whatnot. There's just two missions on this, and then there's going to be tier 21 with two missions on that, and then the final battle. So, uh, with that though, I'm not going to proceed all the way to the ending. I feel like those literal three, well no, it's four missions, should be enough for a single stream, so that'll be next week. But anyways, so with that, gonna call it a night and yeah tomorrow we'll be resuming hero side finally now that the sides are gonna be fundamentally caught up so yeah hero side should as always go really smoothly uh, hero side might reach the ending <laughs> I'm gonna try and hold off on that but it might <laughs> next week we're gonna be doing the endings I already know that now, but yeah. But anyways, so as per usual, thanks to everybody who joined and catch you all next time.